we're doing this. We're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Mariah and welcome to my channel, Mariah's Moods. I'm super excited. Uh, this is the first video that I'll be filming for my channel and posting, so I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also super anxious and ready to get started. Um, my name again is Mariah, and I want to make content that is related to all things bookish as well as lifestyle. Um, I am a mother, I am a wife, I am a teacher, and I am an avid book reader. And so I just want to take some time and introduce myself and tell you what you can possibly expect from my channel. So because I want a lot of my content to be book related because that is my favorite thing to do in my pastime, I thought it'd be super fun to do the booktube newbie tag. Um, I wasn't tagged by anyone necessarily, but I love the questions that they posed and I think it's a great way to just introduce me and my channel. Let's get started. Question number one, why did you start this channel? Hmm. I probably should have prepared some responses before I just like picked up my camera, right? right? Okay, well, live and learn. Um, why did I start this channel? I have been consuming booktube content for the last like eight years, just like lurking in the background, just enamored by the book community, and I've always wanted to be a part of it. Um, but I have just put it off for so long, and I decided, you know what, 2023, we're doing it. We are going to just jump right in and start doing what you like. Um, another big reason why I decided to make a channel is because um, for so long I've just been functioning under these roles of mother, wife, army wife, uh, teacher, and I don't really know who I am outside of those roles. I spent most of my 20s um, just completely worried and concerned about what everyone else would think about me and what living up to expectations of what I think that people, you know, expected from me. So from the way I dressed, how I had my hair, um, how I, you know, spoke or the tattoos I had, the piercings I had, um, or how I respond to people. And I, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of living to what... I think people expect from me and that's like even the worst part is that I am so classically phenomenally great at overthinking every single situation so I don't even know if people expect these things from me but it was just like what I felt was being put on to me and so a big part of that was um, having this fear of judgment and this just overarching dread that like people are not gonna accept me for me and so a few years ago I hit 30 31 I'll be 32 this year and I just decided that I was done I'm done living for other people and fitting myself into a box that I no longer feel comfortable living in and part of that is you know I'm still working through um, but I'm gonna start doing things that make me happy and not at the expense of my family because my family is extremely important to me, but I want to do things and I want to create things that I enjoy. And so that's what I want to do with this channel, not just talk about the books that I love and the books that I'm reading, but also just sharing life's moments that make me happy and living life the way that I want to live life. And so that's kind of what I would like my channel to be and that's kind of what's motivating me. I want to take this journey to figure out who is Mariah outside of these roles. And so I hope that you want to join me and talk to me about it. And maybe there's people out there that's also kind of questioning who are they? And yeah. Question number two, what are some fun, unique things that you can bring to booktube? Um, I think at this point in 2023, the booktube community is kind of like covered and super saturated and there's so many great content creators out there that um, I don't know if I have anything unique to bring to the table um, and I'm not really worried about necessarily being unique. Again, I'm just wanting to be me and figure out who that actually is 
and the in range of moods that come along with that. Um, and then just read some really good books and talk about them along the way. Yeah. Um, question number three. What are you most excited for with this new channel? Um, I'm most excited for the opportunity to possibly build a community, to have people to talk about books and life with, um, and just discovering again who I am, see how possibly my reading taste changed. They have definitely changed a lot over the last few years, and I think it'd be really great to document that. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm really excited about just sharing, you know, the every day-to-day -day life with you guys and hopefully finding other people that relate in that same way. I am by no means the Pinterest mom. Um, I try, but mm, I'm, I'm done trying to fulfill that Pinterest mom, you know, go-getter role. That's just, that's just not me and I'm done with that. Um, so I just want to, you know, make real life more relatable. I love the idea of like romanticizing your life and whatnot, but I think we also need to, or I would like to, embrace the everyday. Question number four. Why do you love reading? I love reading because for me it's a form of escapism. Sometimes I just need a break from my everyday life and the duties that, you know, come with that. And reading is a way for me to just decompress and escape and enjoy and live in someone else's skin or live and just kind of escape. Um, but I also love reading because of the of feelings that it brings depending on what you're reading the happiness the sadness the insight to things that you don't always um that you're not always exposed to i love that with reading um i love to see how other people address different topics of their lives and kind of reflect and assess on those the same ways that i would ex you know um, go through that situation or maybe learn and so if I would ever come across something in that same kind of theme, would I also respond to it in the same way? Question number five. What book or series got you into reading? Hmm. Um, I've gone through there were several like reading eras in my life. When I was really, really young, reading was very difficult for me. Um, I didn't enjoy it because it was hard, so it felt more of a task or a chore, something I had to do for homework. My father was really big into reading, and so it was kind of forced upon me, even though it was you know, difficult for me. So from a very young age, I didn't really enjoy reading. Um, it wasn't until I was later on in elementary school that I started kind of developing more of an interest in reading, and it was when I picked up this guy. Um, so Harry Potter and the Harry Potter series really started to um, pique my interest in reading. Um, it was the, kind of like the first series that I was invested in what's going to happen next. Um, unfortunately, we know the current situation with the author who will not be named, um, and I'm extremely disappointed in some of the statements that this author has made, and so it kind of makes me sad looking at these books because it was so instrumental in my childhood when it came to reading and I think even though a large amount of people are disappointed and upset with you know what's kind of come out in the past couple of years um, I think we can all kind of agree that these books were very instrumental in our early reading experiences. But after elementary school, when I kind of ventured into middle school, I dropped off with reading. Um, I was more concerned about friends and again, what people thought of me and reading was not one of those things that you kind of admitted to. I was definitely a closeted Harry Potter reader. Um, but then I you know, went to high school and I remember freshman year, we picked up To Kill a Mockingbird. And this book, guys, this book, I'm actually rereading it. Um, it, sh it showed me that books can make you feel things other than just these magical, you know, ideas. It make it, it taught me that you can learn so much from a book. You can experience so much from a book. You can take more than what's just written on the page 
from a book. Um, I will always be thankful for reading this in high school and getting over myself and actually participating in an assignment um, because this is what truly sparked my love of reading. In no way am I saying that this is the perfect novel. I think it definitely has some flaws, but it definitely sparked my interest and uh, the ball was just rolling from that point. So definitely To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee sparked my true love of reading. Question number six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? Uh, like I said, I've been consuming booktube content for eight plus years, probably seven plus years. Um, some of my favorite booktubers are Reagan from Peru's Project, Kayla from Books and Lala, Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. Um, recently, I've fallen in love with Katie Coulson. If you don't know who Katie Coulson is, what are you doing with your life? Go check out her channel, Prime Content. Also love um, Olivia Reza Latte. So many, so many booktubers I love. Um, Honestly, I would just ask them kind of where they get their ideas from their content. Um, I would love to collaborate with some of them. It would be super amazing. They are so entertaining. Gavin is hilarious. I, in the minute his foot videos are up, I'm watching them. So funny. Ayla from Books and Lala, her reading project videos are so entertaining and so creative and so unique and so I would just love to pick her brain about those at some point. All right and the last question, question number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So as I said before, um, I have spent a large majority of my life living up to the expectations of others and with that comes a ginormous fear of judgment and people not accepting me or liking me. And so I feel like even though I'm currently working through that, um, I feel like that could possibly be a challenge for me in creating this channel and this content is, are people going to like it? But I'm learning to be okay with not everyone liking me. That's okay. Um, and I'm okay if I'm not, you know, that's okay. Um, another thing that might be challenging is because I do juggle so many roles is having the time. But I am going to make time because it is time. If I say time one more time. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope to see you again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you were to subscribe to my channel, so click that subscribe button. Um, again, if you like all things bookish with a little bit of life sprinkled in and probably some chaotic, anxiety-filled rants. Stick around. Please come back to Mariah's Moods and I will see you in the next one.